Hey, welcome back to Sprague Over Homestead. That's Nikki. And that's Kaden. <laughs> today we're going to talk about kind of what we want to do in 2024. So this is different than the usual goals video. We usually do one at the end of the year of kind of a recap on how we did last year and goals for this year. And after basically missing the mark for what, three, four, five years now, yeah, yeah. we've decided goal lists are out the window. Take them up. Throw it out of here. We're done with those. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and talk about kind of the plans or the things that we have in mind that we want to do this year. So it's different a little bit from the traditional goal list. Is we've just got a running list of all the things that need to be done. And the thing that screws us up every year is weather more than anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, different stuff pops up. and But weather here is pretty unpredictable. Uh, we were 50, what, four days ago, and now we've got three inches of snow. So I realize it's winter. Uh, the 50s was unusual, but we've also had snow in June here. So it's true. we're going to kind of throw out the goal list, and we're just keeping a running list of different stuff that needs to be done. And uh, one of those things that we're hoping to get to is the same thing we've been trying to get to for like four or five years, and that is... Fencing. <laughs> Fencing. So if you remember, gosh, we've, we've shown so many different projects. Last year we got a lot of it done thanks to help with, uh, I won't say our neighbors, but a local cattle rancher and his crew, his fencing crew, came in and did a lot for us uh, to try and keep their cows in. Now, outside of that, I tried to do a big run of barbed wire on the 40 acres adjacent to where we live. I got a lot of well, I got all of the wood posts put in from there. We still need to do the cross pieces and, of course, run the barbed wire. So that'll take a big, long run. That's a good 1,300 feet or so. About a quarter mile. Yeah, about a quarter mile long. So that'll take uh, five strands of barbed wire, which would be a good good size project to get all that run together. And then we have some other stuff around. We have another fence line here kind of close to the house that will give us another pasture to allow the goats to eat down. And that'll take a couple of years where they convert that into sagebrush and kind of just scrub brush and stuff that's not really usable, but they'll turn it into a nice pasture. It'll take a couple of years to do. The big thing is get rid of the sagebrush that are way too close to the house. Yeah. And they're getting tall. Like some of them now are, are past the five foot mark. <laughs> they're getting kind of big, which means when we let the collies out, the collies kind of disappear, yep. which is not a good deal. Right. Um, now, while we're doing all that, I also am taking most of the cages out of the American barn. And they're just old and fatigued. The Americans are a big, really active rabbit. And so I'm starting to get some breaks in the wire. So I'm pulling all of those cages out and, you know, evaluating the bottom floor wire. And in most of them, replacing the bottom floor wire. Um, and then adding a second support. So I already have spreader bars on them. It came that way from Bass equipment when I bought the cages. I'm actually going to two spreader bars on these cages to try and prevent the sag on the bottom floor wire because once it starts to sag then it really starts to fatigue out pretty fast. And they're just big and they're just active and mm -hmm. that's just kind of the way it is. Um, but some of those cages now I've had for like 13 years so they're definitely due for a good pull them out and clean them all the way and uh, hit the rusty spots on the pea guards because it happens with um, some primer and, and get them to stop rusting. And um going to be doing that. Of course, we're going to be doing a garden. I'm going to have a video talking about the garden here pretty soon, uh, just as I'm going through and planning it. Uh, but we're going to put dome number two back up mm -hmm. and build dome number three. So right. we'll have three greenhouses going out there this year. And uh, a whole bunch of the beds in the main garden, I may give the year off and just um, just really fertilize them up and then just leave them. Uh, probably do some cover crop type stuff, but mostly I'm probably going to let most of it rest. I didn't feel like the yields this last year were very good, and I'm thinking we're starting to deplete some of the soil because they're raised beds. It doesn't last forever. And um, rather than, I've always just kind of bought a few bags in the spring and topped them off if I needed it. Uh, I don't think that's quite sufficient at this point. So I'm just probably going to dump a bunch of manure on it, till it in and let it sit. And manure, we have a lot of with all the goats. <laughs> I've been cleaning barns 
Well, pretty steadily. I mean, really, we this is the first time we've had some significant snow, and it's still going to warm up and probably melt it off. But we've been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. She's been cleaning rabbit trays. I've been cleaning the uh, goat barns out, and I've started working on one of the, the poultry houses and the turkeys, getting them cleaned out. So we have a significant amount of manure that we can put towards gardening projects this year. And I talked to my dad over text a couple days ago. We're going to be having the bobcat come back over here, the skid steer, uh, which is going to be pretty handy. We're going to mm-hmm. actually pop another quarter line, quarter mile of fence line in. And uh, I've got to get the sagebrush out of there. And it's a little tight. I've got some trees and stuff in there. So I'm going to bring the bobcat back, maybe do a little dirt work. I'm only going to borrow it for a couple weeks. Um but we might have some videos on that of doing some some dirt projects and yeah. a few things that um, I like to play with the bobcat. I haven't had it in, gosh, several years now, mm-hmm. um, but it's it's pretty fun. It's it's you can just do stuff with it that you can't really do with the tractor just because the tractor is so freaking long, and uh, the bobcat does a better job of getting in and around trees and. Uh, we even push some of our fence posts in with it. The bucket's got enough strength that uh, makes us putting fence posts in a little bit faster. <laughs> Saves his back, mm-hmm. which will help with some of the fencing projects. So all in all, there are currently 275 items on the to-do list. <laughs> I do not expect that we're going to get them all done. And part of the reason that we're doing it this way and not doing the whole goals list anymore is... Uh, No matter what you get done in a year, when you sit down at the end of the year and you go back over your goal video from the year before and you find out that you missed most of it, you feel really bad. It doesn't matter that you did 10,000 other things and made some real progress. And we're both kind of uptight people. (laughs) So I find it depressing. Don't you find it a little depressing when we get to the end and we're like, we didn't get anything off the goal list Mm -hmm. but we made good progress so we're gonna throw the whole idea of goals out the window and uh we're just gonna work on the on the list yeah and that's far uh, far easier and it's a lot lot better for morale yeah yeah it's gonna go back to and we used to say it all the time is count your wins not your losses Mm -hmm. and so 24 after I, i know the whole world's felt this way but the last three or four years of just getting your teeth kicked in we're going to just focus on counting the wins, not the losses, and uh, just trying to make progress every day. That's right. So that'll give you a kind of a glimpse of what's coming up on the channel this year. A lot of these projects, of course, are going to be multi, multi-weeks, multi-month projects just to get everything done. Because we, you know, like, like you eat an elephant one bite at a time, we're going to take <laughs> a lot of these projects one little piece at a time. And hopefully by the end of the year, we will have them done. I sure hope so. I don't want to be talking about fencing again next year. <laughs> Me either. And I, we have an awful lot of fencing to do. So is it, are we going to get everything done this year? Probably not. Uh, just because we've, we've got a lot of the base stuff done and now we've, we're extending. Yeah. Like this one fence line up here is something that we just talked about in the fall. So it's, it's a new project. Yeah. And that's what happens, right? It's new projects getting added to the list all the time. So there we go. So with that, just remember, homesteading is a lifestyle, not a destination. It's not a race to finish first. It's a race to keep on going. (laughs) So with that, we'll see you next time. Happy homesteading.